This video will show you how to make a low cost polar cam and it will demonstrate fast and accurate polar axis alignment with some software I wrote called SPA. The polar cam was made using a low cost USB camera board from ELP. You can spend more money and get a camera enclosure but I chose the bare board and fitted it in a project box. The ELP960P uses the AR0130 image sensor which has been used in many planetary webcams. The firmware is designed for non-astronomical use. It is out of the box plug and play and driverless on Windows. The standard driver allows a maximum exposure of 0.5 seconds which is ok for this application. The maximum frame rate is 60 frames per second so it can be used as a good low cost planetary camera as well. Under Linux with some hacks I've been able to achieve exposures around 6 seconds. The camera is offered with a variety of lenses. Choose the 3.6mm lens to work well with the standard Skywatcher Poloscope. The 2.8mm lens field of view is too wide and is not flat enough for this application. Adjust the lens to focus on infinity. To mount the camera on the Poloscope I use the film canister hot glued to the project box. It's not pretty but it works very well. It's a tight fit on the Poloscope but it is stable and provides repeatable results. As you can see I have a bracket on the top of the box that just helps me align by sight as I fit it to the Poloscope. Before you fit the camera have a look through the Poloscope and ensure that Polaris is somewhere in view. Moving my mount from the house to the garden over time has caused the Poloscope reticule to move off centre. I could fix it but that takes lots of patience and I can't know if it will stay put. I was never convinced it was very accurate either. Having the mount low to the ground to reduce wobble makes it very uncomfortable to look through for more than a few seconds, particularly as I wear glasses. Adding some technology can make it more practical and reliable. Here you see the webcam view through the poloscope. It's sensitive enough to pick up Polaris but other stars are too dim to register. Gain is set to 100% and the frame rate is 0.5 seconds. The SPA application uses the reticule to get some idea of scale but otherwise we ignore it. To begin make sure your scope is levelled and parked. Now launch SPA and once you've entered the longitude place it over the webcam application. It's a good idea to maximise the window as it makes things more repeatable. Now untick the steps lock. Click on Polaris then Go over to your mount and adjust its azimuth bolts to move Polaris across the screen a few hundred pixels. Click on Polaris again and now SPA knows how far off horizontal the webcam is. If this is the first time you have used SPA, you can now click on the calibrate button. Then move the mouse onto the centre of the cross and click it, and then onto the circumference of the circle and click it. That tells SPA how big to draw its own reticle. You can make manual adjustments to fine tune the size if you need to. You should now move Polaris to somewhere roughly central on the screen. The final step is to work out the real polar axis and draw an accurate reticule. Click on the polar centre button, then click on Polaris. Now use your mount's controller and rotate it about the right ascension axis at least 30 degrees. Click on Polaris again, then swing Polaris using the hand controller to the other side of the parked position and click on Polaris for the final time. If your mount is under ASCOM control you can use SPA to control it directly. No hand controller is required. Now SPA has drawn an accurate plot of the Polaris hour angle, all you have to do now is move the scope back to its parked position and then use the azimuth and altitude bolts of your mount to move Polaris to the centre of the reticule circle. There are many useful features in SPA. At any time you can press the magnify button to give you an enlarged view to help you see the star while you work on your mount. You can also use the cursor keys to finally move the cursor around the screen. 
pressing the escape key will delete the last mouse click and the enter key is the same as the left mouse button. With practice polar alignment can be done in under 4 minutes. I estimate accuracy to be better than 1 arc minute. Have fun!